you're ready or not Rob a bank, have some fun Secure the cash, grab the gun The first idea was just to build a studio. I wanted to have my own place to make music where I wouldn't bother people and where I could just work as long as I needed and get whatever I needed done. My family moved a lot. I think I've moved 40 something times already and I'm 20 years old. I would say the small living is very comfortable for me. It's second nature, I don't really think about it. I feel like music is kind of the way that I get through life. The way I communicate in a lot of ways, it's the way I de-stress, it's kind of like therapy. And it's also what I want to do. But when I am writing, it's almost like my songs come from somewhere else. And sometimes it's vulnerable. Sometimes it's a part of my life that I'm proud of. Sometimes I'm not proud of. When you add music, it's like adding color to like a black and white painting. Hi guys, I'm Shelton Taylor. And this is my trailer that I converted into a music studio slash tiny home. This trailer is a cargo trailer. I paid 2600 for the trailer. So one of the first things I did was add solar up top. I have four panels and I have three batteries in the back. So all the power is going down to these batteries. So it's a 315 amp system. I had to have a lot of power in order to power the music studio. I chose a simple layout for the trailer. I didn't really build anything off the walls just because I needed as much space as I could have. So I could fit my desk and my little kitchen and just all the music stuff. This space makes me feel like I'm still producing in a home or in like a little room. I've lived in small houses my whole life. Uh, my family had eight kids and my mom was a single mom. So she, we actually lived in an RV for a while. We've lived in mobile homes and different things. And this is about the size of some of the rooms we had. So I'm not, uh, I don't feel too constricted just cause I'm, pretty used to it and then when I open everything up and I'm you know working in here it feels right if it were any bigger it wouldn't feel so tight when I'm recording it wouldn't sound as tight just because it's kind of the size of a vocal booth it's supposed to kind of condense the sound that's why we have this all this interior soundproofing so first we have this skateboard this was like the first skateboard I built and it ended up falling apart it's got some cracks in it but I use it here because it kind of like holds. I have another skateboard that I put on top of it. So I just set it there and it holds my skateboard. And then I have a bunch of little hooks on the walls. This is just for like keys and for my lock. I bought a big mirror. It was like a foot by three feet tall originally. And then I dropped it and it like shattered. <laughs> and I was like so upset, but then I was like, wait, I'm just gonna take my, I was using this for like insulation stuff and I just like covered it and then it worked. And so I was like, oh, this is nice. And this, it's like a random shape and the size is better, so. This is my record player. I'm a big fan of old music in general. I think the way we, we perceive music has changed and uh, the way we make music has definitely changed. It's also kind of sentimental. My brother had it in his dorm for a while and it's kind of been in our family, so. All right, so this is an acoustic guitar amp. I have a couple of them in here. This one was given to me uh, by a friend and I was just kind of saving space by putting it under here. Uh, so sometimes uh, park on the beach and I'll just plug it up and I can play for people. And it's under this little table that I found on the side of the road. So here are two of my guitars. This one is a Goya. This one's like a 60 year old guitar, probably my favorite. Uh, typically there's a tailor that goes here and then this is my electric. So, here. so this one's really full sounding. It's got that. Like a, it's a nylon, so that's that's my favorite. But sometimes when you're producing, you want something that's a little more solid, and so you use this. Next, we got my mic here. So this is a warm audio condenser mic. It's really nice because in this corner here, I have some soundproofing, and so that's the sound is condensed right there. Next, we have my speakers. These are just pretty standard producing speakers, and then obviously my computer here and my interface. This amp down here is a hard key amp. It's a bass amp. I'm actually looking for a bass guitar right now and I played in a band for a year and a half so this is the amp we would use for our bass. The first cot I had was this right here on the ceiling and I was going to store it on the ceiling and then put it down on the ground when I would sleep and it ended up when I put it up I recorded once with it because my thought was like oh it's going to 
condense condense the sound and it worked so well that I just kind of left it up there and but it's really easy just grab a, a cot out of the trunk and it rolls out I have eight by three feet here on the ground to sleep and I'm pretty used to sleeping on flat ground I don't typically sleep as well in beds so that's been typically what um, what I've done when I when I sleep in here this is my kitchen area I put my bowls and my plates right down here and then when I'm eating I can set them out on this whole table and then this is my waffle maker and then here are my pots and pans right here. Um, I just put little hooks on them so that they can uh, stay up on the wall. So whenever I need it, just take it off the hook and then I can make eggs or whatever I'm making. And then this is my spice rack up here. So I have like all the regular, I got ground cinnamon, I have lemon pepper, I got salt and pepper back there. I have like some Italian seasoning. So my inverter has been solid, it's never, tripped out on me. When it, the fan turns on, I typically try to take some power off of it. That just means it's it's got a lot going on. But typically, if I'm just running my equipment here, inverter has no trouble, or if I'm just cooking, and I can cook and have the fan on, and it's, it's, it's fine. I typically turn the fan around when I'm cooking so that um, it takes all the, just everything outside of. That way I don't smell like, it doesn't smell in here like I've been cooking in here. So this is the other set piece. I got the two little tables. I found it on the side of the road. And then this amp is another acoustic amp. This amp is nice because it has a lot of different effects. It's an old school amp. It has like flange and reverb and uh, just a lot of nice effects. It's what I use when I, get, when I play in like bars and like nicer shows, I'll use that. This is, I got this at Target for like 10 bucks and it works. It's really good for like, it was the length of both of these windows. And then I have this little curtain here that I just, I'm not a, good at sewing or anything, but I just kind of makeshift sewed it up there. Then this is where I typically hang my clothes too. I don't really need that many clothes. I kind of got rid of a lot of them when I moved in here just because I realized you just don't need as many as, you, I, I didn't need as many as I had. I play in bars. I do some street performances. If, when I'm traveling, wherever I am, I'll go, the city square and I'll play for a couple hours and I'll make more money typically than I did in the restaurant actually which has been such a blessing and I'm doing what I love I feel like I'm practicing while I'm working if I perform well I get paid well so it's an incentive I definitely recommend this lifestyle for other people find out what you want to do with your life and find out what's practical I love to travel and we travel a lot together in her van the sole purpose for this was just to record and to have myself a space where I could just work and create art.